Colon Senior High School, three points. <laughs> KNUST Senior High School, 18 points. <laughs> T.I. Amas Kumase, 21 points. <laughs> this brings us to round two. Round two is the Pepsodent Speed Race. And here, each, each question, question that is read out is open to all the schools at the same time. At any time, if you have an answer, you ring your bell. The first school that rings their bell and gives a correct answer will be awarded three points. If that answer is incorrect, a second correct answer from the second school is worth two points. And just like that, if the second answer is incorrect, the third correct answer from the third school is worth one point. At any time, if you give an incorrect answer, there's a penalty point of one. When you ring your bell, you have three seconds to begin your answer. And you have to give your answer swiftly, promptly, and aptly. No delays, no fluffing around, no madam, the answer is, no reading back the question to me. If you do that, I'll move on to the next school. Okay. The Pep Student Speed Race is proudly sponsored by Pep Student. Every smile matters. The first question of the speed race. Find the measures of the angles of a quadrilateral if they are given by x plus 45 degrees, 2x minus 15 degrees, 2x minus 20 degrees, x minus 10 degrees. Yes, Ken, yes, team. We have it to be 105 degrees. Go ahead. 105 degrees again. Go ahead. 100 degrees and 50 degrees. That's correct. Did another school ring their bell? Okay. So whilst we are doing that, if another school had rang their bell, that would have gone on to them. The letters, the letters of the word party, as in we are having a party, are arranged, are arranged, taking all at a time. Find the probability that an arrangement begins with a consonant and ends with a vowel. Yes, CIMS. Yes. A fraction with numerator three and denominator five. No. Yes, Solon. A function with denominator four and numerator five. Ten. Sorry. Repeat that. A function with numerator four and denominator ten. No. Twenty-five. One on five, one on five. A point P, X comma Y, is successively reflected in the Y axis and the origin. And the final image point is A, minus three comma five. Find the coordinates of P. KNST. We have it to be negative five, negative three. No. Yes, hold on. Negative five and three. No. Negative three, negative five. Find the potential difference across a, pot a potential divider composed of a 16 ohm resistor and a 14 ohm resistor. When the potential difference across the 16 ohm resistor is 8.0 volts. 
KNSC. Okay. We have 15 votes. That's correct. <laughs> name, name the physical quantity whose conventional SI unit is the hen. Yes, can you? The inductance. That's correct. <laughs> Determine the quantity of heat required to just melt 15.0 kilogram of a substance at its melting point of negative 114 degrees Celsius whose specific latent heat of fusion is 1.04 times 10 to the power 5 joule per Kelvin, joule per kilogram, sorry. KNSC. We have it to be 15.6 joules. No. <laughs> Who else rang the bell? Yes. Yes. Three Okay. No, it's two. 1.6 by 10 to the power 6 joules. No. So why are you not giving me the significant figures I gave you? 15.0. So it's 1.56 megajoules, or 1.56 times 10 to the power 6 joules. Our next question. What chemical hormone is used for degreening of citrus fruits. What, which chemical hormone? Yes, TIMS. Ethylene. That's correct. <laughs> what does Vasa Recta refer to? Okay, so it's a fine capillary that runs parallel to the loop of Henley. What name is given to the protective cover over the radical? radical? Colorizer. That's correct. <laughs> Determine the solubility product of iron 3 hydroxide at a given temperature, given that a saturated solution of the salt contains 1.0 times 10 to the power negative 2 mole per dm cube of Fe3 plus. KNSC. We have it to be. Okay. Two. Point seven by ten to the exponent negative seven. That's okay. That's correct. <laughs> I don't want. I don't want the units. So find the mass. Find the mass of magnesium. That will completely react with 5.6 dm cube of chlorine gas under standard conditions. Can you see? 6.0 grams. That's correct. Our last question for the round. What, what is the molar mass 
of 2, 3, 4 trimethyl pentane. Ten yes, That's two. Okay. One hundred and fourteen grams per mole. That's correct. That brings us to the end of round two.